Hello guys, Nathan here. Today we're going to be looking at a, um, I think they're, ta they're called tables. I'm really not sure the best way to call this. I guess using tables to define nodes in batches by saving yourself tons of time and creating smaller, smaller file sizes which results in faster downloads and happier end users. And no, that will not be the title on YouTube. But that is what I should call this video. So, here we have it in use in the my landscaping mod which John and I created he did most of the code so he's the one who knew what he was doing and then I saw what he did and I was like that is genius and so now I'm going to show you how to do it so first we just have the collision boxes here which big deal we're not going to focus on those too much this is kind of what I want to focus on this is a table and we have several different items in this table um, Specifically being a description, a type, an object, collision box, the drops, and the group. So we have all that. And then we kind of have the code here that iterates through all of these different tables and creates locals of these different groups. And then it is used in the register node here to register it. And if that is completely confusing you, don't worry. We're going to actually do some coding this time around. So here we're looking at the foods for my survival mod and we are going to start by creating a local table and i think we should be able to use that without any issues and we will just start it with a squiggly brace as we see here oh and actually we should you know what looks like table might be a lua specific thing so let's do food underscore table if you have something that does uh, syntax highlighting and it changes color of a word, you probably should not be using that as a local because it's going to end up with conflicts. Okay, so then we're just going to put a little note here saying we're going to start with description. And now, no, actually, we're going to start with, um, we'll just use craft for short here, but it's going to be the craft item string. And then we will do the description. And then we'll do the inv image. And then we will do help helps if I know how to type. So we're going to create a table and in the table we will have the name here pretty much these three yellow ones or orange I guess and then the green the health value. So let's start that. Um, every table is comprised of a group of tables so we will start that off put it in quotes survival slug underscore cooked Put a comma in there, and then we will do cooked slug, and then we will do survival slug cooked. Now, I was told you don't have to put extensions on for graphics, it'll automatically just work for them either way. So, I'm going to leave off the dot PNG. Evidently, it's not going to matter. We're going to find out in just a minute, though. I have absolutely no reason to doubt the gentleman who said that though so I'm assuming it's completely true okay and we're just gonna put a second one in here for right now um, we'll be adding some more later oops if I put all the correct punctuation or not spell this out correctly um, cricket raw <clears throat> and we're going to call that a cricket and for the image we're going to use survival slug cooked and health on that is going to be 0.25 as well put a comma there and then that local table is finished so obviously you could put as many things or as few in as you want if you're registering a node you're going to need more but it's we're only doing a craft item there's only four variables here so this table is complete so now we have to put the code in that kind of iterates through that table and does everything magical so we do for i in i pairs which i think is just a lua type thing food underscore table because that is the name do so pretty much we're telling it for i in i pairs each line here stands as an i 
I've assumed I stands for integers, but I really don't know. All I know is it makes it work, so that's what we're going to do. We will indent so it looks nice. And then we're going to define more locals. Surprise, surprise. And we will define a local called craft, which is going to equal food underscore table. Oops, that should be a square brace. Square brace I, and then square brace... I don't know why I said I and pressed the number 1 on the keyboard, other than I am an idiot. And then we will do the same thing, but this time we will do local description equals food underscore table. Let's see if we can get it right this time, I, and then this time it will be 2. And we just keep repeating that for as many... Um, Entries, I guess, as we have in the table. So we'll just keep right up here. There's not too many, so it's not going to kill us. And now, one of the really nice things about doing something this way is you can add more entries just by, you know, you hit enter and you type a new entry right in there. And it's already going to take care of everything here for you. So you don't have to... You don't have to, uh, why do I keep hitting one? You don't have to keep typing out all of this. And like I said, it also keeps code a little smaller, which, hey, we are all very worried about our code size. Okay, so we have that set up. Now, here again, it's a little different because we have all these block types and we have colors, and we're doing going through both. We won't be doing that in this case, so we're just going to do a my test register craft item parenthesis and that is going to be craft and then um yeah we'll put a comma in squarely brace down descriptions going to equal you guessed it desk um let's see inventory image is going to equal in the image I love these love 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 these and then on use equals mind test dot item underscore eat parenthesis help and then end the parentheses enter backspace we'll save that and actually you know what we're gonna do just to make sure this is actually working, let us comment the code out. There we go. So now the slug cooked and the cricket raw will only exist from this table. Let's give it a whirl. I haven't actually done this before. So, hoping we got everything right. Oh, and we didn't. Surprise, surprise. Oh, man, I didn't even have debug open. Wait, that's right here. Let's see what I messed up with. In line 130, end expect to close for at near end of file. Line 23. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if we are doing a four in pairs, we should really put an end right here. A um a loop, I guess, because that's it's, it's what we're doing here. We're looping. For a loop, you do need to call an end on it. Otherwise, it's going to say for i in pairs in this table do, and then do this, and it's looking at this code, um, this code, and the for, you know, for this loop here, the i and i pairs, it's running through all of this and saying, okay, well these, none of these variables need to be inserted anywhere. And it gets to the end of the file, and it's like, there's nothing else for me to run through looking for these values. That's probably a horrible, horrible explanation of how it actually works. But it's a working explanation. Chances are I'm supposed to put, like, a comma after that. I'm still getting the exact, exact same thing. Let's take a quick peek here. 
That should have had a comma, and that should actually run before the end. So, if I'm reading this right, or wait, no, I think I'm reading that wrong, because this end is dealing with the after destruct. So no, that should still come after this. Which means I had it right. What's what's throwing up a arrow? What? I didn't change anything. Did I maybe forget to save it? I'm sure that's where I put the end. I didn't have a comma after it. Hmm. I must not have saved. I don't know. But yes, you do need an end. At the end of a port. Just let this load. It's going to take a minute because I have like a kajillion different mods enabled on here. Um, let me see where I am. I am in my house. Let's run outside. Goody, it's daytime. Uh, and let's see. We had crickets and cooked slugs that I added to that table. So let's go dig some dirt. See if we can't find a cricket. Oh, hey, I got a slug. I could cook that guy. No crickets yet, though. Here, let's pull a couple items out of inventory. Not that that's going to make any difference, because we can't see those other slots. Hey, you dumb sheep. Get out of my way. Oh, wait. I think I may have just seen a cricket. Oh, maybe that was just the centipede. Ooh, hey, we got a cricket. With an unknown texture. Creating dummy image for survival slug cooked. Did not load image survival slug cooked. Why is it even trying to load that? I don't have a... I have a raw slug. Okay. Let's see what we did wrong here. Inv... Img. Inv... Img. Food table. I3. I3. Survival... Slug cook. Yeah. Um, that's real genius. Let's put a picture of a cooked slug for the cricket. Man, I gotta read the right stuff. It should be cricket wrong. Load this back up. I don't know if that's gonna fix anything, though. Because it should have just been showing a picture of a slug. Survival. Slug cooked. Survival cricket raw. Love it when that happens. Alright, let's take a look here. No, we still have a cricket with nothing. Did not load image survival cricket raw. Creating dummy image for survival cricket raw. Am I typing something wrong? Survival cricket raw. Well, here's what we'll do. New line. Copy and paste the full string. Because I know for a fact that it used to work. Because I have seen my masterpiece of a cricket. Which honestly looks like trash. It really does. Trying to draw a cricket in a 16 by 16 space. Whoops, sorry about that. Why is this not working? I shall have to hop into the directory here. Survival cricket. Survival cricket. Raw. They both exist. Local inventory image. That doesn't even matter there. We're going off of the. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's not done. It wouldn't surprise me if it starts. Nope, it starts at one. I was gonna say it wouldn't surprise me if it started at like zero or something. But it doesn't. It starts at one. So. We have the craft. 
we have the description, we have the inventory image, and then we have our column. Inventory image equals inventory image equals inventory image. Hmm. This is perplexing. Oh, well, I did have two S's there the second time around. Like an idiot. Copied and pasted, but didn't select the full original string to paste over. I really should turn some of these mods off that I ain't using. And? And? Ah, the crickets! Let's go find a furnace and cook the slug. See if he works. I have no reason to doubt that he will. Just enter through the waterfall entrance. Yeah, yeah. I think I got a furnace here. Um. Put the slug in there. I'll just cook him with some sticks. I guess I can't cook with sticks. There we go. Oh! And we have a another texture issue. Either I am just a miserable typist. Survival. Slug. Dot PNG. Or it needs to have that dot PNG. Let's take a look at inventory. There's our cook slug. It worked. Okay, so now, now let's have a little more fun because we can we can further cut down on file size. Actually, let's take a look first at this craft. Okay, the craft every single one starts with survival colon. So what if we do survival? colon, and after you put that into quotes, okay, we put that in quotes, and then we can pull survival colon out of the table up here. And then I think you have to do, just take a quick peek here, see how that works. Yep, you do two dots. So we will, two dots pretty much just means add one string to the other. So we're adding survival, and then we're just appending, or adding the craft portion to the end of that. So you know what else we could do for this inventory image? We could do that, and then we can do dot dot, and then in parentheses, dot png. And then we can strip the pngs off of the files up here. And you know what else we could do? You know, we could also, because these all start with survival underscore, so the... Um, so I don't have any conflicts with namespaces of other mods. So I can do survival underscore the two dots, and then we can erase that from this. So we're looking and saying, well, that's really not a big deal, Nathan. You're right, it's not. But when you have all of these items, it can kind of add up to, you know, one or two kilobytes. Which, again, yeah, not a big deal. But... You know, it does cut down on download times, makes file sizes a little bit smaller, frees up a little more space on your hard drive to be used as swap. No, actually, if you're using swap, you're doing it wrong. Get more RAM. Seriously. All right. We still have a cooked slug, and we still have a cricket. So everything is still working. Wahoo. So now, we can remove all of that. And we can pretty much just go through and go crazy on this table. Cricket cooked. And I'm, I'm just going to do one here just to show you how easy this really is. Cooked cricket. Let's see, we're going to be using a cricket underscore cooked. 
for the graphic. Important thing is to remember to put things in quotes that need quotes. And let's see, that one gives me 0.125 health. And Numbs Lock was turned off. I wonder, like, why is this not killing me? And then we just close it. And then put a the comment down. And you know, the one thing we didn't actually do, we didn't eat anything. So let me launch my test one more time. And let's eat one of these things and see see if health's working. Because that's the only aspect of this we haven't tested yet. And of course, everything else has been working flawlessly once I got those couple typos ironed out. So there's no reason to believe that this won't work. Let's pull Cricket up here. I ate it. Hmm. Didn't seem to suffer any ill effects. Um, cooked slug. Let's eat this guy. I would say everything's working. Um, the portions on these guys are so tiny. You, can, you have to eat several before you see your your um, the hunger bar there go up at all. So, yeah. It works. So, I'm going to... Go ahead and put all of these into this table, and then push this to the GitHub, and it'll already be pushed by the time you guys catch this video on Friday, so no worries there, and I'll shrink the file size down a little bit, it'll help the uh, GitHub guys maintain low overhead. But yes, that in a nutshell is how you use tables, and of course, like I said, in the landscaping mod here, we did use it for registering nodes and I mean you'll see again we're using that dot dot you know the two periods here to add pieces together and yeah we are really using this like mad I mean selection box and collision boxes are being used from up here here we're setting nodes it, it can boggle your mind when you first look it's like wow this how do they get all of those wall pieces out of 119 lines of code. And pretty much we can do this. We can count, there's four here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, I actually could have just taken the numbers and done the math. Thirteen. Thirteen times four, anybody? Fifty-two, ain't it? Fifty-two. Now if we take from line seventy-eight to the end here, one seventeen and one sixteen, I guess, and do the math on that, comes out to just a about 30 that'd be 108 no so it's like 38 so 38 times what was it 52 so we'll calculate it real quick just to see what you can actually accomplish with this 1976 lines of code is what this would have been had we entered each ta or each um, block individually by doing this method the whole thing is cut down to 119 lines, which is a 16th of what it would have been. Of course, it also means this file size is 1 16th smaller. Or wait, um, it's a 16th of what it would have been. It's 15 16th smaller than it would be otherwise. So, and again, I realize we're dealing with text here. It's not huge. Every little bit helps, though, you know. So, yes, that is tables. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next week with another MyTest modding tutorial.